today's video i'm making it for the sake of the single mothers you know i believe nobody planned to be a single mother no i don't think a woman will just sit down and just desire to be a single mother because to be a single mother is a big responsibility a very big one so i don't think any woman will ever pray to be a single mother so i believe is the circumstances that warrant that situation but i want to advise you to be a single mother is never a crime it's not a crime so but i want to tell you put let your child or your children be your number one priority in life don't trade them for anything don't trade them because maybe you are you want to go into a new relationship and because of that you want to trade your children no let them be your number one priority i have seen some videos online some single mothers just because they want to have good time with their with the person in their life now that is maybe a man in their life they will go and give sleeping tablets to those children. No, sister. Don't ever do that. Consider your children number one in your life. Consider them. There are some videos you see and you are asking yourself, what is this? Somebody entrusted her children. And she traveled to another country. She left those children to another person entirely. And she was telling the, 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 that one, I do give the child sleeping tablets. And the child slept. The child did not wake up. And that one, she began to panic. What is this? So, what are you having in mind? What do you think? Before you go into the to the uh, pharmacist and buy a sleeping tablet for your baby, just because you want to have time with your, I don't know whether I should say your boyfriend, just because of that, you could go to the pharmacist and get drugs for that, for that baby, for that little child, for that little boy, for that little girl. Don't you have conscience? So many people have taken that drugs and they have gone to the land of their ancestors. Oh, that reminds me of the one that happened in Italy. A white woman, Italian woman for that matter. She said, oh, I want to go and have a good time with my with a newly found boyfriend. Hi, one year, six months. One year, six months. She left that child to her own self and left just for the bottle with her, put, left her in the baby cot, put the feed bottle there, and she left. This mother slept for the first day with the boyfriend. She slept there, she enjoyed herself without considering her own little baby of a year and six months. She slept there for the second day without thinking. By now, she would have peed. By now, maybe she would have poo-poo. Who will clean her up? Who will change her? Oh, since yesterday, that for the bottle I left for her. She slept the fourth, the third day, dear. Without having a change of mind, let me consider my baby girl. Fourth day. And when she came back, she saw that the baby has gone visiting the land of her ancestors. And when she was arrested, she said, yes, I know one day it's going to be like this. And she confessed that that has not been the first one. She had been leaving the child for one or two days before. Oh, what crime has that child committed? That child was on his own or her own. You went to draw her. Because if you keep yourself, that baby won't have come. And you brought her. Ah, 
I can imagine the tears of that girl. The cry. She will cry to the extent that maybe there will be no strength to cry anymore. So single mothers, you are not the first to be there. There are lots of single mothers that have made, made names for themselves today. Yes, they have made names for themselves. For themselves. Even for their children. Their children are in a better place today. Because of their mothers. So to be a single mother, you are not the first to be there. But what are you making out of it? Out of that situation? There are things you will do that the person that left you, the man that left you will think and say, Oh, I missed something. Oh, I made a mistake for leaving this woman. So please, let your children be your number one priority. Don't use them as a handbag. You can just dump them anywhere and come back and pick it again. No, they are more than that. Spend time, invest in their lives. And don't put your frustration on them. No, don't put it on them. They are innocent. Please, God bless you.